Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we will continue to explore the topic format and configure visualizations. So now let's have a look at the combo chart, which is also shown here as a line and stacked column chart. And there is another variant, which is a line and clustered column chart. So, the, so the, we have two variants of the combo chart uh, where we have simply one where we have a clustered column chart and other we have the stacked column chart. So we will start with the clustered line and clustered column chart. And let's see what are the options that we get here. So remember, once we were exploring the visualization, so there, there, is, there was this terminology combo chart and I have been using it in this video as well. So a combo chart is a chart where we combine the line chart and the stack chart functionality. And here, if you have a look, we have the options for the X axis. And then for the Y axis, we have the option for both the column and line. So in the Y axis, we can have a line and we can have a column. So if you have such kind of a chart, this is called as a column chart. So now let's see how we can populate this area and create a visualization. So here I have populated this area with the same measures and categorical columns that we have been using in the previous video. So I have the sales region in the X axis. Then on the column Y axis, I have my total cost. So, so this total cost would be shown in a bar chart. So this bar chart here is actually representing my total cost. So you can see here, it is also shown in the legend. And then the line chart or the line portion of this of this chart is showing the total quantity and you can see the total quantity here as well. So now if you have a look at this area, so we have this as a combo chart. So we are both seeing both the value. So remember I said that we, we want to see a correlation. So as we already know that quantity and cost are related, we are using the quantity in the cost formula. If you remember from one of the earlier videos, so, so, so see if um, you can see some kind of a correlation. So as the quantity goes down, the cost is also going down here. Similarly, I can pull in more measures in both the column and line area. So let me just pull in my total transactions in the column Y axis. So here you see that another bar has been added now, which is actually showing my total transactions. If I take it out of here from the column area and pull this in the line area of the Y axis, then you are going to see another line is has been added. And now this line, the green line here is showing my uh, my total transactions. And you can see that there are multiple lines now. So you can have the same effect that we saw for individual column charts and line charts. And you, this is just a combination of both. So rest of the options related to the formatting that you see here in this area, all of those options are again, just the same options that we saw for the column, for the, for the column charts and for the bar, for the line chart. So I really do not need to go and change, uh, change these into, into this. So there is a counterpart of this um, this one which we saw, which is the which is the stacked column chart. So what I am going to do is that I am going to just convert this into a line and stacked column chart. And what the effect really is going to come here is is in this area. So the effect is going to come here for the column area that instead of creating a new bar. So if I put something here it is going to put that into the stacking thing that we saw. So instead of creating a new bar here, I see now that I have a bar which shows my total transaction. So that is the only difference between the one uh, we saw where we had the clustered bars and here where we have the, the stacked bar. So that is the only difference. Rest of the options are exactly the same. The last visualization or the last chart that belongs to this line and area is the ribbon chart. So let me just 
just click on this ribbon chart here and I have this blank visual here on my canvas. So let's now populate this ribbon chart and see how it combines the effect that we saw for the line chart but it also gives a comparison and some additional information that was not there in the line chart. So here I have populated my visual build area and instead of pulling in the date I have pulled in the start of month so that I have fewer values on my x-axis and the visibility of the visual is better then the same total cost in the y-axis and I have put the, the gender inside my legend. So what I am seeing in this area here is that I am seeing a ribbon effect which is different from a line effect. So this is a ribbon. One ribbon is showing the, the female gender and another ribbon is showing the male gender. And you can see that over the period of time, you can see a clear trend that for which month which gender had a bigger contribution towards the total value of my total cost and if I just put my mouse here you are actually seeing some additional information like total cost change then the rank uh, related to the uh, to, to this particular point so this is giving us uh, information based on what was the changed from the previous previous value in this data set so this is some kind of an additional information that you are seeing in the tooltip and similarly if i come here so the same i am going to see for uh, for my uh, for my female for for my female gender as well and then you can see that the rank change is also shown here so previously it was the first rank and now in the in this particular month the rank has uh, has gone down so so the point is that the ribbon chart is effectively showing the same information that you would otherwise see on a line chart so you are instead of a line you are going to see a ribbon and you are going to see extra information uh, in the tooltip for this ribbon chart and you don't have to create any measures of your own if you want to see this but the only issue is that you uh, if this has so if you have if it has multiple categories so let's let's uh, replace this gender with uh, let's say the the sales region that we have been looking in some of the other visualization so let me just change this with the sales region so now you can see that this area is now a bit cluttered so i have more colors here and it is difficult to actually have a look at Al although these are still uh, clear but if you have multiple values then it could become a bit difficult to see what what is actually happening inside this visualization so for more values or more uh, values in the category then this is going to have a cluttered effect because instead of a line we are now looking at the ribbon so again you can go and have a look at the formatting options which are exactly the same just we have the ribbons instead of the lines and we can actually go and change the color for each of these ribbons we can change the stacking order and and some of the other things related to transparencies borders and also the spacing so you can configure this visualization based on your own uh, use case and your own uh, requirements so this was all about the line and area charts and in the next video we are going to have a look at some of the other visualizations and how the uh, those visuals can be configured and some of the formatting options which are different from the visuals that we have just seen. So that's all for this video and I'll catch you up in the next one.